We're going to be seeing even more Yeezys released this month. With that said, let's go over every single Yeezy releasing during week 2 and their resale predictions. To try to keep everything as accurate as possible, we'll be going through these restocks week by week. We started last week with August 2nd to 8th. This week we'll be covering week 2, which is up to the 15th. This means there are many more drops that I won't mention today. We'll just be going over those next week. So make sure you subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you're always updated. As we went over in the week 1 video, some of these will be dropping on the dates that were listed on the Foot Sites internal release calendar, while others may drop randomly randomly at other retailers too, and then Adidas confirmed will probably load up most of them all at once with draws lasting multiple days. However they do end up dropping, we do make guides and have monitors for every single site including Adidas confirmed inside of Endurance to ensure you're fully prepared for this drop and any others, and just yesterday we had a big manual cookout on the Carbon Foam Runners, and the day before that we had an even bigger cookout on the SB Dunk CSC. You can feel free to join with the link in the description below if you're interested. With that said though, let's jump into going through all of week 2's Yeezys. Kicking it off with some that do have dates, at least for retailers, again confirmed may or may not align with these dates, we have the Yeezy Slide Glow dropping on August 10th for $70, HQ 6447. It seems like these are retailers only, not Adidas confirmed, at least not for next week's drops. Anyway, whenever they do end up dropping, unless you get them from a site with free shipping, they're mostly personals with the exception of sizes 12 and above. If you do get them with free shipping or even in-store and have no tax, you can make some lunch money with a poor margin on some of the lower sizes too. Then on the 15th, again, at least for retailers like Foot Locker, the Yeezy Slide Slate Marine should be dropping for $70, ID 23. 49. Very similar resale to the glow slides, but remember, Adidas does have free shipping and these are being dropped there. So, if you have no tax or if you go for large sizes, there is some potential for lunch money with a poor margin here. With these slides, what's really hurting these is the platform seller fees. So, if you can move these locally, all sizes are good. Also on the 15th, the Yeezy 350 V2 Slate should be dropping for $230, HP 7870. Like many recent 350s, especially colorways that Kanye has not claimed as his own designs, these are looking like they'll end up as mostly personals, unless you have no tax and local buyers. Now onto some that we don't have dates for but are definitely dropping on Adidas confirmed sometime within the next week and only potentially at retailers. First we have the Yeezy Foam Runner Stone Salt dropping for $90, GV6840, these should remain profitable with a decent margin, definitely a drop to look forward to. Then we will be getting the Yeezy Knit Runner Fade Onyx for $200, IG7831, like other recent Knit Runners I'd expect these to be mostly personals, while Grey is more universal than the prior runners we've seen, it really makes these just look like hospital shoes if you ask me. Then we'll be getting the Yeezy 350 Red Stripe for $230, BY9612. These are actually still holding up quite well in large sizes, especially 11 and above. It's been a highly demanded colorway ever since their first Black Friday drop, but there is a ton of stock in circulation now following Yeezy Day 2. Nonetheless, it does still seem like large sizes have potential for lunch money with a poor to subpar margin. Then we'll also be getting the Yeezy 500 Tactical Boot for an unknown retail, but likely very high, potentially around $300, IG 4693. Because of the very high retail, I'm mostly skeptical of these, but sometimes these new models will randomly pop off if they're super limited. I'd still lean more towards these being just personals though. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Remember, you could join Endurance with the link in the description for a limited time if you're looking to prepare for these restocks or even broaden your horizons as a reseller with other markets and methods outside of just sneaker reselling. You can subscribe to stay 100% updated on all Yeezy releases and any other hype sneakers. With that said though, have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck on all these releases.